welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Abby. I am a 30 something year old mom of four and I'm a little bit obsessed with braids. So I share vlogs every Monday and Friday and hair tutorials on Wednesdays. So welcome to today's hair tutorial. We are rounding up my favorite, all time favorite ponytail hairstyle. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see and let's get started. For hairstyle number one, we're gonna take two small sections from each side and then combine them in the back with a clear elastic. And then you're gonna loosen the elastic just a little bit and then we're gonna flip the tail up and through the hole. So this is what I like to call a topsy tail. Then you're just gonna cinch the tail so that it's tighter and go back in and loosen the twist. So I like to hold the ponytail with one hand and then pinch the hair on top and gently kind of pull it. You can see it plumps up the twist and just makes it look a little bit more full and voluminous. And then we're just gonna do a succession of topsy tails all the way down. So I'm doing about four and you wanna make sure that they're all close together and that you get those baby hairs on your neck to finish off the style. And here you have it a beautiful and super easy ponytail. On to ponytail number two. This is an easy favorite. You're gonna clip two sections of hair in the front out of the way. I just clip them onto my chin. And then you're gonna pull the rest of your hair into a low ponytail. And then gather one of the sections from the front and drape it over the elastic and around it. And then we're gonna use another clear elastic to hold it in place. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just drape the section of hair around the elastic. You can give it a little twist if you'd like. And then secure the tail on the bottom with another clear elastic. When you're done, pinch the top layers of the ponytail with both hands and pull them apart. And this is gonna lift the ponytail and make it look a little bit perkier. This is a ponytail number two. What do you guys think about this one? We've got a braid for ponytail number three. You're gonna take a large section of hair on the thicker side of your part, and I'm gonna pull some bangs out. So it's basically from the back of your part line down to your ear. Smooth out the section, and then we're gonna do just a regular three-strand braid all the way down. And when you get to the end, hold the braid tight with one hand and we're gonna stretch the braid to make it look more full. So I'm basically just pinching the outer piece of each section and gently pulling on it to loosen it up. Then you're just gonna drape the braid around the crown and pin it with a bobby pin to secure it in place and we're gonna repeat on the other side. I didn't get the best angle here, I'm gonna work on those angles, but you're basically just gonna stretch the braid and then drape it across the first one and pin in place. So here's kind of a slow-mo of how I'm pinning it. You just wanna snag a small piece of the section and then pin it into the braid. Let me know if you'd like to see a bobby pin tips and tricks video in the comments, and then you can either wear it like this, the crown braid is so pretty, or you can throw it up into a ponytail. And again, I like to pinch the top layers of the ponytail and pull them apart to make that ponytail a little bit perkier. So here is ponytail detail number three. Hairstyle number four is a great one when you really can't reuse any curls and you don't want to apply heat to your hair. So you're just going to leave out two small sections in the very front and then pull the rest of your hair into a low ponytail. Split the ponytail into three equal sections and braid a few stitches down and then we're just going to stretch the braid again. So pinch the sections and pull on them to make them look a little bit more full and then tie it all off with a clear elastic. Now we're just gonna take the sections we left out earlier and twist one over the elastic, and then while holding it in your non-dominant hand, grab the other section and twist it over the first one. And then you're just gonna combine these two sections underneath the ponytail and secure it with a clear elastic. Then just roll the tails around your finger and pin them up underneath the ponytail with a bobby pin. Ah, oh, isn't it pretty? This is one of my favorite styles and it's so easy too. Ponytail number five. You're gonna actually leave out a large section of hair in the front for this one and pull the rest of the hair up into a ponytail. And then sometimes I like to take the end of a rat tail comb and give the crown a little bit of volume with it. And now we're gonna French braid this section back. So gather a small section near the front and divide the hair into three equal sections. The top strand is gonna go over the middle strand 
and then the bottom strand is gonna go over the middle strand. So that's your first stitch. And now you're gonna add in a new section of hair to the top strand and braid it over the middle section. And basically you're just gonna repeat this French braid until you run out of hair, at which point you'll finish it off with a three strand braid. Now we're gonna stretch the braid. This is my favorite part. So you're gonna hold the end of the braid tight with one hand and use the other hand to pinch the outer strands of each section. And this is just gonna loosen them up and make the braid look really soft. Then you're gonna wrap the braid around the ponytail until you run out of ends and just secure it by adding another clear elastic around the whole ponytail. And voila, what do you guys think about ponytail number five? Second to last one, we've got ponytail number six for you guys. I've got a really pretty twisted ponytail. So you're basically gonna take two small sections from the front and twist them each back before securing with a clear elastic and you're twisting away from your face. Sorry the angle isn't great on this one. Hopefully though you guys can still see what I'm doing. Once it's secure, go ahead and loosen the twists. This is just like what we've done in other styles. You're gonna pinch those top layers, gently pull them, and that's gonna be what makes the twist big and full. Then pull the rest of the hair up into a ponytail and make sure to pinch the top layers and lift them up as you're spreading them apart. This is just gonna push the ponytail closer to the twists and give it a nice lift. So here is ponytail number six. Before I take these extensions out for the last style, I kind of wanted to show those of you who wear extensions where I've put them in. So I like to put two three clipped wefts right at the ear line, and then I have one two clipped weft underneath. I'm gonna remove both of those for hairstyle and number seven. You're gonna brush through a part if you have one and then gather a nice chunk of hair on top and I'm gonna spray any flyaways down right here. And then we're gonna split the hair into three equal sections and just do a regular Dutch braid. So the braid here, the outer strands are gonna go under the middle section. After your first stitch, add in a new piece of hair to the right strand or the strand that you started with and braid it under the middle and then add in a new piece of hair to the left strand and braid it under the middle. And this is your Dutch braid. So you're just gonna continue the Dutch braid all the way back to the middle of your head. I've added a couple single weft extensions as I've been braiding down. And then right about here at the top of my ears, I'm gonna add a three clipped weft extension. And then I'm gonna turn my Dutch braid into just a regular three strand braid and braid it a few inches down. Tie the braid off with a clear elastic and then we're gonna go ahead and stretch out the braid. So remember you wanna hold the end of the braid taut with one hand and then with the other hand, just pinch the sides of the braid of the sections and just kind of pull them to loosen up the braid. Then you're gonna pull the rest of your hair up into a ponytail. This isn't really a high ponytail or a low ponytail. It's just kind of sitting right in the middle. Remove the elastic from the braid and then you're just gonna cinch up that ponytail, kind of pull on both of the sides like we've done earlier and it's gonna make that ponytail a lot more perky. My hair is basically straight at this point, so I'm just gonna fix some of the curls with a 32 millimeter wand. And there you have it, ponytail number seven. And that's it, my roundup of favorite ponytails. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let's see if we can get it to a thousand thumbs ups. Thumbs, thumbs up, thumbs ups, thumbs up. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And in the comments below, let me know what hairstyle was a your favorite. Do you wear one of these often? Is there a ponytail hairstyle that I need to try? Let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.